We're looking at replacements for the little red camper. And then, if there was a hole, the fresh air coming in suddenly would go on that spark and yeah. whoosh, the house would burn down. We are Carol and Ken, and we like touring in our little red camper, a tiny Nissan MV200 built by Sussex Camper Vans. We mostly wild camp and like to show the scenery, van life, food and a bit of history. People tell us that we're relaxing to watch, so give us a try and see if you agree. If you do, then give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures from the Little Red Camper. If you're interested in anything we use in the van, then just click the affiliate link in the description. Welcome back to the channel. In the last episode, we took a bit of a scary drive out to Strumblehead Lighthouse. The following morning, we took a walk down the very steep path that leads to the bridge, but unfortunately, it was shut. A little black car had been parked with us all night, but we'd seen nothing of the owners. So we checked out a grey building that we'd not noticed the night before, but there was no sign of them in there either. As we were all alone, we had a very leisurely start to the day. We did a bit of filming and I cleaned the van before we packed up and set off to continue our adventures. This place is starting to get busy now. We're certainly enjoying having the iPad on board and it makes planning so much easier on the big screen. Smoke's there and Fishguard is here. Yes. So if you find some parking in Fishguard, well, do you want to mark that as a favorite? 17% hill, this is the one. Yeah, it's quite steep, isn't it? When we came through in the dark last night, I noticed this little car park right by the sea here. So I thought I'd stop and take a look and see if it's suitable as a park up. The thing drying its wings. Oh yeah. Didn't realise that was a real bird. <laughs> so I'll just get some shots here. So my keys are there, okay? Yeah. So this little car park is opposite the Fishguard Ferry Terminal on the A40. Is this bird a shag or a cormorant? I can never tell the difference between the two, but whatever it is, it's giving us a very nice display of its wings. I had a look at the signs, but I couldn't see any restrictions on overnight parking. And uh, although it's next to a busy road, I should imagine it gets quite quiet later on. There's also a little takeaway directly opposite the car park called the Shack, which seems to get good write-ups. Now we've seen Lower Fish Guard in a previous episode, so we're off up to Upper Fish Guard now to have a walk around the town and get some supplies. This lady has right of way, but she's waving me on. She obviously wants to take her time making that crossing, and I don't blame her. We don't mind okay. paying, do we, Charlie? How long are we going to be here? Uh, an um, hour? Just an hour, I think, yeah. I think this is the main car park, and there's some toilets here. 40p a pee. It's getting more and more expensive, these toilets, aren't they? It's the most expensive we've seen in it so far. Yeah. If they're clean and tidy, we don't mind paying. I like the colour scheme they've chosen for the church. Now something we noticed here was that many of the businesses still don't seem to be reopened following Covid.
beautiful display of flowers around this cannon. And how long that's been there? Yeah. Doesn't say. I bet it's a long time. Shamrocks. Now that's a beautiful old shop front. What shame it's empty. Ah, the infamous peacocks that turns into cocks at night. Shame about the sign. <laughs> Someone's done that deliberately, uh, surely. It's not even open. It's empty. No, no. I bet you whoever stripped the store deliberately left the sign, left the sign yeah. saying Cox, yeah. That's just my opinion, of course, and I have absolutely no evidence to prove that. Baby with a fox head. It's an acquired taste. That's a tattoo place, that's why. Yeah. Huge, yeah. It's old chapel. Yeah. Oh, so there's a co-op there. Should we go and get some stuff for lunch? Yeah. Let's, let's do that, shall we? We'll just have one of these. Do you want any fruit? Some grapes. Yeah. Yeah, let's have some of them. Right, so I'm gonna do a curry tonight. So we want, I want some carrots, potatoes and onions. Please follow the instructions. Please wait. Payment accepted. I'm gonna go left. Do a tour of the car park. Yeah, well I don't know how we get out. So let's say exit on the right here. Yes. It does, Correct. what a good call. Yes. We forgot to turn it off. No wonder it goes flat. <laughs> Lots of charging to do while we're having lunch. Yeah, absolutely. There always is, isn't there? Yeah. Constantly, Constantly charging. Constantly charging. And this iPad is down to 30% nearly. Yeah, I'm not so sure this is working out because it consumes so much power that even in a two point something amp Right. power socket it's not enough to keep it alive is it Foot whereas enjoy. your ipad sorry mate your ipad is uh kept going all day kept going all day so maybe we switch to your ipad and then at least at the end of every day we'll have a fully charged ipad won't we and just keep this for doing photo work and thumbnails and stuff for youtube Quite a challenging hill this way, isn't it? Coming up. Yeah, it's very twisty. This is the one where I um, I got the wrong gear, and that yeah. guy nearly ran into the back of me last night. Last night, coming up it. Yeah. Single file traffic. How does this work? The Stena Line ferry is in the uh, port. This was the pull-in that I overshot on the way down. Nice view from up here. Two uh, paddle boarders down there wobbling about. And a nice view of the old ferry to Ireland. Off we go. Fine looking cattle. Back the way we came now. We're going back on ourselves because we want to visit an Iron Age fort. That was the turning area for lorries that are heading towards Fishguard. Yeah. To stop them going into the town from this direction. Yeah, it must be a nightmare if one of them tries to do it. Yeah, well, they'd never make it up that hill, would they? No.
We come back for a walk around Newport in a later episode in this series, but at the moment we're just driving through and we're in need of somewhere that we can stop for lunch. Just pulling into this little lay-by for some lunch. Yeah. Bit of a crappy um, choice by me, but needs must. Trouble is, we've got to get close to the blooming edge, haven't we? We've got to be able to get out. Yeah, that's right. We can just about slip between the seats if we need to, but not on this occasion. Not the most peaceful spot for lunch. It's a blooming noisy spot. Right by the main road, but it, it'll do. The place is not open, is it, until... We're going to the Iron Age 4, it closes between 1 and 2. And yeah. it's coming up for half 12. So, so we're going to be here for a little while. thought we might as well stop for lunch. It's always that lovely feeling when you get the kettle on in the camper. That needs to brew for a few minutes and then it will be ready. Okay, we have coronation chicken. That's what you think, mate. There is more than we can eat. Mm, that's a bummer. Yeah, that's all right. What happened to the um, ticket? What's happened to what? The parking ticket that we're keeping. That was oh, on the... it's up here at oh, the moment. Uh, oh, yeah, magnetic. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this looks jolly tasty. Did you want a tray? No, I'm fine. So Carol was complaining that there wasn't much chicken in her sandwich. And it turns out I didn't buy coronation chicken. I bought coronation coleslaw. Didn't I, Charlie? You need to check what I buy when we go into a shop. Here you go. Oh, oh. Wow, that's jammy. Jammy dodger. Nice. Someone's towing their boat past us. <laughs> Say hello. Come on. Come on. Come on, say hello. Hello there. Hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. Aren't you beautiful? Yes, you are. You've got your phone. Do you think we'll meet, need masks here? I've got one in my back pocket. Only if you're going inside, you need masks. Well, there are some uh, huts we can yes, walk in. Yes, so you'll there, need so. them. We've noticed that down here in Wales, they seem far more concerned about COVID than anywhere else we've been, aren't they really? That's buggy. <laughs> it's buggy, isn't it? Buggy, yeah. buggy, buggy. We could have done one of these for our meetup, couldn't we? Yes, can you find it? Perfect, isn't it? You need to maybe. Oh, we can't really store a gazebo though, can no. we? We've got the luxury of space. That's substantial, isn't it? Yeah. This looks very cosy, this little one. <laughs> oh, tell me a story. How well. Tent. Yeah. Next place is this barefoot trail. Right. You have to take your socks and shoes off and experience the different textures under your feet. You enjoy that one then. Eh? Used to be sections of different surfaces. Yeah. Nice idea. 
poorly maintained. Yeah. I'm afraid we kept our shoes and socks on for this one. This is just all muddy. Yeah. Bonds age boat, Holgar boat. Interesting construction, isn't it, with the Held string together just... with ropes. Obviously this is yeah. just a reconstruction, but it's really interesting to see how mm. it was built. I wonder how far they would travel in something like this. It's a nice gentle stroll all the way up to the fort. Cancelo, are you the bull? I think that's the bull. I'm not so sure, I think oh, it's no, got that's others. The cow. Yeah. Where's your bull? Oh, that might be the bull just behind oh, in there, to yeah. the left of the I gate. Can see the tail we Yeah. Going. You can't really Keeping see him. in the shade, isn't Yeah. It? Hello then. If you call them, they'll always come and say hello. It's not Stone Age, is it? It's Iron Age. Iron Age fort. Yeah. Some of the animals were not visible. Way in the hut. I don't know. <laughs> can't see them. In fact, I can't see any of the animals that they've got signs for. Need a refund. No, we don't. We just need to look harder. There are beehives. Oh, they're in there. Look, I can see oh, two of them. Oh, there's sheep. There's one there, brown one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what this breed is. So you've got big ditches. Yeah. And then a defended gateway. Although, to be honest, this one looks a bit of a pushover. Well, it's... It's just the concept, isn't it, Charlie? Yeah, it would have had stone towers. Here, look, four yeah. stone towers. You can see the rings where it would have been. Here's the village. To defend the village. There it is. Now, I hope it goes without saying, but this, of course, is all a reconstruction. And this is just an experiment to see how they think they used to live. So this is the granary. It's pretty cramped in here. This is where they did the cooking. cooking yeah. yeah. We've certainly been cooking in here because you can smell the smoke, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just literally. Yeah. As much as you soon get used to it. It would certainly have been hard work making bread this way. It's odd, but I find this place quite comforting. Simple technology that's easy to repair if things go wrong. This middle one next is... You never knew that that was for a specific reason. Yeah, and then if there was a hole, the fresh air coming in suddenly would go on that spark and yeah. whoosh, the house would burn down. So the trick is to make sure your thatch isn't too thick. The smoke will just filter out. You can see that it's not particularly smoky down here, is it? I mean, I'm looking through the smoke at you, yeah. but over to the side, it's, you know, it's really um, not so unpleasant, is it? But up there, I think you would find it so. Above about two and a half metres was jet black. Just black with soot. And the bottom was still that colour. Which, it, so it, it was a good indication that it was working well. And there <laughs> is smoke, you can feel it. You know, mm. you can smell it. But it's not unpleasant, really, is it? Um, Others, we don't know this. We were really impressed with this place and found the recreations really interesting. The camera doesn't show it very well, but there are some swallows nesting in here. That's great strength when you use the pipe When you've got the dowels holding everything together. Yes. Yeah, so once, once that is switched in place. Mm. Enjoyed that, didn't you, Charlie? Very interesting, yeah. Not too dissimilar from surviving in a little red camper, isn't it? <laughs> a lot more comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> more space. <laughs> right, the next place on the agenda for today is Pentra Ifan which is an ancient burial ground. Don't wait for me, honey. Don't wait. Someone's here. Exactly what I'm looking for. 
this where you park, do you think? Is that sign say in English? Oh no, it's got nothing to do with the burial chamber. No. <laughs> That's okay then. All the leaves are falling. Autumn is coming. Nice view. Beautiful. You can see the sea. Yeah. This is Pentra Ifan, a Neolithic burial chamber. So it's got to be balanced here, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's on a hill. Yeah. Yeah. 16 tons. How did they lift it up there? Blimey. <laughs> Levitation. Yeah. It was built by aliens. Yeah. 3,500 BC. Nearly as old as that milk we had to throw away. <laughs> okay, get your photo. I want a picture of you in it. Okay. This burial chamber sits on a ridge overlooking the Nevern Valley. This is not how it would have looked when it was in use. Excavations have shown that it used to sit in a shallow pit and it was covered by a mound of earth. Apparently no trace of burials have ever been found here, but they assume that such a large tomb would have been used for collective burial over many years. Local legend says that fairies are seen here and they're described as little children in soldiers' clothing with red caps. It's that time of day now where attention must focus on finding somewhere nice to park up for the night and also to have our evening meal. What's that big mound there? Just rocks. Mm -hmm. This place looks promising as a park up. We discovered this spot purely by chance, just ambling along these lovely little country lanes. We quickly got the van in order and settled down and started preparing our evening meal. We're taking a leaf out of those happy days. Eat lots of veggies. Do you think they'll convert us? I don't think so. I don't know, you never know, do you? Check out their channel, folks. Those happy days. Yeah. They cook up some nice vegetable curries, don't they? they? Do, yeah. This turned out to be a really peaceful spot with just the occasional dog walker joining us. We're only we using a jar sauce. of sauce, but it will do us for tonight. There are a couple of cans here, but they're not really what I would consider to be cans. I thought a can was just a pile of rocks, but these are actually quite substantial. Let's use the power of the drone to take a closer look at one of these cans. I think maybe we'll try 
climbing this one in the morning. I'm doing a packet of coconut rice in the Ridge Monkey. Give the old curry a good shake to keep the heat in. There are paths you could walk all over the place here. Right, this is nearly ready, Charlie. I'm sure you've cooked this up a treat. I hope so. And the sun is setting. Just in time for our curry. <laughs> <laughs> I think it does it really nicely in here. The rice is all separate. Mm. You've cooked up a good one there. Yep. So how did you find the new saucepan? Yeah, it's very good. It's nice, isn't it? This didn't burn at all. No. No point was it? threatening to burn so that was quite good the non-stick coating on it's really good yeah there's your curry charlie mm, that's really tasty good mm. i like that rice yeah it works well in the ridge monkey mm. it's got some mini poppadoms with it mm. a bit of crunch good though mm. we hope you enjoyed our video and if you did please give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures from the Little Red Camper.